everyone these models are related to the first week of development and i am going to explain how the changes take place after fertilization in the first week of development so this model is about the male and female pronucleus that is after fertilization the ovum and the male pronuclei along with the two polar bodies after the second meiotic division surrounded by the zona pellucida now the zona pellucida is there to prevent polyspermy that is prevent the entry of more than one sperm along with preventing the ectopic pregnancy that is uh, when uh, the ectopic pregnancy happens somewhere other than the uterine cavity then it is known as ectopic pregnancy so this embryo hatches out from the zona pellucida at the time of implantation in the uterine cavity only so till then the zona pellucida is intact now um, there is no single cell stage because the male and female pronuclei are uh, like having 23 chromosomes each so when they fuse together it is a two cell stage and then further blastomeres are formed as four cell eight cell and 16 cell stage now the 16 cell stage is known as morula morula is derived from the latin word morum which means mulberry so this is 16 cell stage known as morula still surrounded by the zona pellucida right and this um, fertilization takes place in the ampulla of the fallopian tube and from there it starts moving towards the uterine cavity to get implanted by the time implantation takes place these cells of the morula they arrange themselves into outer cell mass shown in red and the inner cell mass in green now this outer cell mass is going to differentiate into trophoblast and the inner cell mass is going to differentiate into the embryo proper still surrounded by zona pellucida now what happens when uh, this inner cell mass and outer cell mass they differentiate and by the time that is fifth day of um, first week of development this um, reaches the uterine cavity and the uterine fluids gets absorbed inside this pushing the inner cell mass to one side this is not exactly pushing the inner cell mass to one side that is known as animal pole or the embryonic pole because the embryo is going to develop from the inner cell mass and the outer cell mass is um, trophoblast so this cavity which appears when in the uterine cavity this cavity is known as blastocyst and the uh, blastocyst cavity or you can say the blastocyst and the stage is blastocyst when uh, further differentiation occurs this is the animal pole and the opposite one is the vegetative pole or the ab embryonic pole so these models are more or less similar where the cavity has not yet occurred it is just the blastocyst stage where you will find the inner cell mass and the trophoblast differentiating into inner cytotrophoblast and the outer syncytiotrophoblast that's all about the first week of development thank you